Hello students, good day. I'm teacher Alvin and I will be your teacher for today's online class. Today, I'll be teaching science. Let's start first with our vocabulary. Let's start with our first vocabulary. Our first vocabulary word is omnivore. 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 Now, let's spell the word omnivore. It's O M N I V O R E. Omnivore. Great job. Our second vocabulary word is herbivore. 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 Now, let's spell the word herbivore. H E R B I V O R E. Herbivore. Great job. Our third and last vocabulary will be the word carnivore. 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 Now, let's spell the word carnivore. It's C A R N I V O R E. Carnivore. Very good. Let's recall and read once again our three vocabulary words. Let's start with our first word omnivore. 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 Our second vocabulary word is herbivore. 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 And our third and last vocabulary word is carnivore. 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 Very good. We're now ready to proceed and discuss our topic for today. Our topic for today is Where do living things find food? Again, can we repeat our topic for today? Where do living things find food? We already know and discuss in our past video lessons that we have three best examples of living things. We have plants, animals, and people. Let's start first with plants. Where do plants find their food? Plants make their own food. Unlike other living things, plants cannot move to one place to another. Plants use sunlight, air, and water to make their own food. Food. Plants make their food in their leaves, and this process is what we call photosynthesis. Next living things is animals. Where do animals find food? Unlike plants, animals move around to find food. Some animals only eat plants, and we call these animals herbivore. Just like your sheep, goats, and even cows. These animals eat only plants just like grass and leaves of the plants. But there are other animals who move around 
to hunt their food. These animals eat other animals. We call these animals carnivores because this is animals who eat mostly meat. For example, like your lion, cheetah, and even your tigers. These animals eat mostly meat. We also have animals that can eat both plants and animals. And we call these animals omnivores. These animals has an ability to eat and survive on both plant and animal matter. Just like bears, birds, and even dogs. These animals are omnivores. Now, let's proceed to people or sometimes we call them humans. People eat plants and other animals. So people is also an omnivore. People raise animals like chickens, cows, and pigs on farms. People grow plants like vegetables and fruits in fields and gardens. For example of fruits, we have apples, bananas, watermelons, and even strawberries. For the examples of vegetables, we have cabbage, onions, carrots, and eggplants. Now, we're ready to answer your book activities. Please turn on page 9 and 10 to answer the activities. Now, let's read your book activities. Your first activity was on page 9. Answer with short sentence. Again, answer with short sentence. Number 1. What do animals eat? Again, what do animals eat? Number 2. Do plants make their own food? Do plants make their own food? Number 3. Which part of the plant takes water from the soil? Again, which part of the plant takes water from the soil? Next questions are for 5 and 6. These are still on page 9. Number 4. Where do people raise pigs and cows? Again, where do people raise pigs and cows? Number 5. Can plants move to find food? Can plants move to find food? Number 6. What is another word for people? What is another word for people? Next are number 7, 8, and 9. These questions are on page 10. Number 7. Where do animals get their water from? Again, where do animals get their their water from number eight what do plants use to make their food what do plants use to make their food 
Number nine, where do plants make their food? Where do plants make their food? Next number is number 10. This question is still on page 10. Name six plants that people grow for food. Again, name six plants that people grow for food. Write your answers on the space provided below. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new today. And please don't forget to wear your mask regularly and wash your hands often. Stay safe. And again, this is Teacher Alvin. And see you soon. Bye!